It's road trip time. It's show trip time. Okay. Let's see. If you turn left here and then we go down to here. We should make it. We should make it. <laughs> Welcome to Hashtag Wild Lit Chat. I'm Sahara with the St. Louis Public Library. And in this chat, we typically talk about fiction and nonfiction, young adult novels. We also talk about graphic novels. We talk about mangas. We talk about juvenile titles for tweens all of that and i'm so excited because it's road trip time because it's summer right so hashtag road trip let's go let's go i love to buy tickets to places let's do it so today's titles are gonna feature a road trip like adventure where you can travel without even leaving your house let's get into it y'all i'm ready i'm ready road tripping road tripping for today's novel, we have young adult fiction title, and it's called Darius the Great is Not Okay. This is by Adib Karam, and it is published by Dial Books. It's also available in ebook format on Overdrive. Now, this is a really great novel about Darius, who is a fractional Persian, right? It's on his mom's side. And he's taking his first ever trip to Iran. And it's about to change his life, all right? He doesn't fit in at home. And he's sure the same thing is going to happen in Iran. So he has depression about it. And he has to explain his medication to his grandparents. And it makes everything harder. And that's when he meets the boy next door, Sharab. And everything kind of changes from there. They start spending all their time together. They're playing soccer. They're eating. They're sitting on the rooftop and enjoying all of the things. It's a really fun look at Iran. And if you want to visit the city without actually having to buy a ticket to visit the city, this is the book for you. Because the author does a great job of describing everything in Iran. You feel like you're eating the food, walking the streets all together with Darius. So you should definitely check it out. You all know what time it is. It's time for shelve it or read it. Would I shelve the book away or would I read it myself? So up first we have Love Boat Taipei and this is by Abigail Hing Nguyen. And this is a really fun book where it's about Ever Wong whose summer takes an unexpected turn. So instead of the strict educational program in Taiwan that Ever was expecting, in its place she's on a love boat, a summer Summer long, free for all, where there are hookups, where there's sake, where there's a nightlife that runs nonstop. And it's kind of going through all the different students who are on this boat. And it's a lot of fun to take this trip with them, right? And I think it's worth a read because I'd read it. All right. The next one is Hope is Our Only Wing. And this one is by Rotendo Tavern Gwai. And this one is set in Zimbabwe, right? So this is where 15-year-old Shamiso has hope for everything, but then all of a sudden is thrusted into darkness because her father's mysterious death in a car crash really hits her and her mom. And so they have to move from England to Zimbabwe to be with extended family. And she has to kind of deal with that and her life kind of turns upside down and there's a cancer diagnosis and all this other stuff so she has to deal with all of that but it's also another great travel novel where you're going from England to Zimbabwe and you kind of get that experience with the character so I'd read it the last one is Love from A to Z, which is by S.K. Ali. And this one is about a wonderful character who is the only Muslim in her class. And her name is Zaineb. And then she's suspended for confronting her teacher. And she has to investigate her activist friends and all of a sudden she ends up at her aunt's house in Qatar and it's for spring break and she has to get all of this guilt that her friends get her in trouble and she has to try out her newer nicer version of herself and try to change and everything so it's another great novel where you're traveling to another place with the main character and I'd read it. It's a read it list because I love to travel and I think traveling with characters is a good way to visit a place without actually visiting a place. So go ahead and travel this summer, y'all. Okay, peace. 
Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. It's the end of the road. And I can't let go. It's unnatural. You belong to me. Okay, yeah, no. Um, this is the last hashtag why lit chat. <laughs> I know I waited to tell you because it's so sad. It's so hard for me. Uh, but I have appreciated you guys tuning in each and every week to hear about your latest new favorite. And I really appreciate it. So today I wanted to remind you about the summer reading challenge, okay? So you still got to sign up. You can still add all of these books to your list and activities so you can earn prizes because you love prizes. I love prizes. It's a whole thing. So definitely sign Sign up, head over to Beanstack, add to your list, okay? And I will see you in a different version of this reality. But if you miss me too much, you can head over to our playlist and watch the other hashtag Violet chat videos and subscribe to St. Louis Public Library so you can see the amazing new season that we have for the YouTube channel. It's going to be really great. We will not steer you wrong, okay? Uh, so I want to thank today's author, Koram, for this amazing book. And I I would like to thank Dial Books for publishing it, okay? Now make sure you guys enjoy life without me. <laughs> it's gonna be so hard. All right. I love y'all. Peace.